funky Friday anatomy quiz. Grab a pen, let's get into it. Question one, what is this bone called and what is the region on this bone called? Which muscle attaches here and what does that muscle do? Question two, what are these structures called and what do they do? Question three, what is the name of this muscle and what is its nerve supply? Question four, what is the name of this nerve and which muscles does it supply in the hand? And final question this week, what is the name of this structure? And what is the name of the tube? And what does this structure actually do? The answers. Question one is my favorite bone, the scapula. And this region is the supraspinous fossa, which gives rise to the supraspinatus muscle. This muscle attaches to the anterior aspect of the greater tuberosity of the humerus. It works by elevating and abducting the arm away from the body. Question two are the seminal vesicles that form part of the male reproductive system. They produce fluid that make up 70% of ejaculation fluid. The fluid contains several important factors to keep the sperm healthy. And these include alkaline fluid, which neutralizes the acidic environment in the vagina so that the sperm can survive. Fructose, which provides an energy source for the sperm. Prostaglandins, that suppress the female immune response to foreign semen. And it also contains clotting factors that help to keep the semen in the female reproductive tract after ejaculation. Question three is a biceps femoris, which is one of the muscles in the posterior compartment of the thigh. It is one of the hamstring muscles, and as you can see, it has two heads. The long head is from the ischium, and the short head is from the shaft of the femur. Now this muscle has an interesting nerve supply, as the long head is supplied by the tibial nerve, and the short head is supplied by the common perineal or common fibular nerve. Both of these nerves are of course direct branches of the sciatic nerve. Question four is the median nerve, which is one of the three major nerves that supply the forearm and hand. In the hand, the median nerve supplies the loaf muscles, which is a great mnemonic to help you remember them. L stands for the lateral two lumbricals. O stands for opponent's pollicis. A, abductor pollicis brevis. And F, flexor pollicis brevis. These last three muscles form the thena eminence, which is this fleshy bulk of muscle that you can feel in your hand. Question five is the gallbladder. And the tube emerging from the gallbladder is the cystic duct, which goes on to combine with the hepatic duct to form the common bile duct. The gallbladder stores up bile, which is made in the liver. So how did you do this week? Please leave me some comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And remember, it's Friday, so stay funky! You're not a